everyone welcome to the next part in this um video from the weekly planner um happy tuesday um assuming you're watching this on tuesday of course anyway <laughs> I have had to close the blind because the sun is coming in all over the desk and would sort of cast a sort of shadow across. I hope it's okay. Anyway, we're going to start with the pot. I'm just keen to get on because I'm really enjoying this page. Whoops, I'm just trying to grab my colour now. Terracotta is my favourite colour for pots for geraniums when I actually think of them. Um, I'd love to have terracotta pots of flowering geraniums in my garden all the time. In fact, I have none, but there we go. I always keep my geranium inside. What I'm doing here is I'm going to put down a layer of terracotta across this whole pot. Now, I quite understand and realise there's lots of detail going on and drawn on. And we will um, deal with that later. But the moment, I just want to put down a layer of colour in the way that I often do so that I know where I'm at, if that makes sense. I'm going to colour all the pot part so that I can see what's pot, what isn't, and then we can deal with all the detail. So even in here where it's um, broken and we're going to do um, the inside part too. Obviously this is floor so we're not doing that but this wall as well because I figure I might not I might be wrong but I figure the inside wall would be the colour of the inside of the pot which would be the same colour as this. We'll do that in a minute. I'm just going to move and do this side first but it will look different so that you will be able to see the difference between the outside and the inside. I hope I have some plans, we just got to hope they work, but uh, I'm sure it'll uh, work out. Certainly a lot better than last week's um, disaster of a picture. But interestingly, I've had some really nice comments. Um, is it last week's? No, the week before. Sorry, last week's was okay. The week before with the um, all the little pots of plants. Yeah, I... Uh, I didn't like it at all, but I had some really kind comments from a lot of you saying you slightly adapted it or it encouraged you to have a go with a pen or different things like that. So um, I'm really pleased that you found inspiration from it, even though I'm sure you didn't copy it because it was awful. But <laughs> now, this inside wall, again, same colour. We've got such teen, teeny tiny bits. I'm going to sharpen because I've got to get around all those tiny bits. The bubbles. I might, uh, I might, I don't know, I'm going to try and colour around them, but I may just go over them in white pen at the end because they're so little. But we'll see how it all works out, really, as I go. Now, that's a shelf, but inside here, you can see the wall, my goodness, it's small. I thought small victories were small, but this is not. This is really small. Anyway, it's uh, we'll get there. Now I realise this is a string of fairy lights. What I'm going to do is I'm going to colour over that little bit there as if we've got the round light and that's a loop of cable just to make it a little bit easier for myself and for you. But mainly for me. <laughs> now I realise that we probably want the lights on and a glow and that's going to do that so don't worry but uh, it's just this is only a light layer so uh, we'll go over it with various other colours. We've got a lot of soap bubbles here. I'm not sure what colour to do soap bubbles but well I'm trying to remember what I did before but it's actually quite nice to do it differently. Got little taps. Uh, another tap. Cool. Uh, around here. Try and decide whether to do the inside or the outside first. I think I'm going to do the outside first because I'm going to put a lot of shadow into the inside to uh, because it's inside 
um, and we've got all this dotting here to show us their shadow but I don't know how dark I need to go until I finish the outside if that makes sense I hope it does so uh, we're just gonna stick with this light layer on the inside at the moment the inside for me is a more interesting bit to do but I shall delay sort of excited to do it but I shall wait so just going around here and now we've got just looking I think we've got a bit down everywhere just gonna slightly tidy it up but we can tidy it up a lot more once we do detailing a bit far away aren't we you can come in a tad there we go don't want to come in too close in case I knock the book askew. Right, now we're going to deal with the outside. I've still got the terracotta in my hand at the moment. I'm going to make it darker here and then lighter towards the middle. Now, there is going to be shadow from our leaves and things, but I'm not going to worry about that at the moment. What I'm going to do first is think about the shape of the pot and um, how the shadow would be on that. Um, if you look at anything that's sort of rounded in shape, um, you should hopefully find that it will be a little bit darker around here where where those bits are sort of tipped round. It's really hard to describe. So I'm going to use my terracotta to put down a darker colour all the way along here and then fade it in a bit like that. Okay, so basically layer here, up and down, less layers here, less layers here, like that. And just go all the way around doing this to start with and it will darken our terracotta a bit which is what we want and give it hopefully give our pot a little bit of shape not sure what to do with the bottom yet i think i'm just just uh, working that a bit more mm -hmm. i'm happier with that and then here I find it I always find it harder on this side to get an even color so I don't know why like when I was doing some gold color swatching the other day to um for one of my um I did a oh it's a while ago now um polychromos pencils and um, no different pens brands of pencils making gold and I was swatching them I found and I did um, a dark then a lighter then a lighter then a lighter across a, 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 a line I found the ones that came from that side to the middle were much neater than the ones that weren't going in that direction which um, you would think it might be the other way around because you think it might be more natural for my hand on the right hand side to move that way but it feels easier going that way I don't know whether any of you have noticed that too I'm going to make the bottom a little darker too and just fade up a bit from there okay hmm, this bit is a bit white there partially looking in the camera screen now to help me under there now I'm going to do a little bit of work on the patterning and shadows and things and I'm going to use um, the um, burnt sienna it's really blunt look at that Ugh. I am replaced my burnt sienna because my I've got a lead stuck in my sharpener. Hold on, I'm just going to empty my sharpener and see if there's a lead in it. No lead, just absolutely jam-packed full of sharpenings. Right, here we go. It's a bit sharper. So the burnt sienna. Now what we're going to do is look at the pattern of the pot. Now this br this brim is going to have some shadow under it. I'm going to colour that in a different colour, I think, when I do some shadowing. Um, but I'm looking at this pattern here and thinking maybe this bit under here would be standing out a bit more. So I'm going to just do that. And then I've got to do it consistently, so I'll do it over here as well. Okay. 
Hmm. And the same here. I don't know whether this will work. We'll see. Now this bit. Hmm. Could do the same under here. I'm wondering whether to just put a little bit here just under these sort of larger sections like that not each individual stripe take too long to do each one and then sort of under these as if they're stuck on Oops, not on top. And either side of this line. Hmm. I am hungry. I'm always thinking about food. There's no food in this picture. I don't eat when I'm in the bath. I don't know about you. It's not. Some people do. I don't even have baths, to be honest. I'm a filthy child. Um, I'm going to do a little bit on the edge here. No, uh, I have showers. I don't like baths. I haven't got the time. Last time I had a bath, I just have had the kids. And um, I'd had some stitches and the midwife said to me, you need to have a bath and use some essential oils to help with the healing of, um, of your episiotomy. And uh, I won't explain what that is for those of you who don't know, it's better not to know. Um, I'm just going to erase my mistake here. Um, anyway, um, so she said, um, use some tea tree oil or lavender oil and have a bath and I was like Ugh. so it just I just hated it I hate baths for lots of reasons but that was a, I did it because I was told to so we're going to put some shadows in and ugh, it was just there's yeah there's the whole waiting for it to run which takes 10 years and I can't be bothered the time it takes to just sit there I always feel like I'm wasting time. I could be getting on with other things. Um, I don't think I'm going to do any shadow over the window bit there. Um, yeah. And they're just, I don't know, just sitting there. What are you supposed to do? I mean, just get in, washing out. You might as well have a shower. I used to have to just sit there to try and help with the healing. It was like, Ugh, so bored. Yeah. <laughs> Right, now we've done, I'm quite happy with that outside being fairly plain. Inside, need some shadow going on in here. And I can use the dark sepia for some of it. So around here, where Johanna's drawn these dots, I'm thinking this is where she's thinking it would be extra dark. So I'm going to use a bit not too hard. So around here. And I'm going to do it wherever she's marked it. Yeah, she's the expert, she knows what she wants. Like that. Yeah, leave that. Next, fairy lights. Um, hmm. I am going to do the lights themselves in a very bright yellow. This is the cadmium yellow going to use. I'm just going to give it a sharp and because they are teeny tiny. I'm just going to do those first um, and I'm going to really try and burnish it on so that if I go over the page, over the lines, um, it will be resisted by this yellow. If um, you do go over it or you have already gone over it, I'm sure I have but I can't see so that's fine. <laughs> um, you can always use a yellow Posca pen or a yellow gel pen to go over it if 
you feel you need to. Now I'm going to do a slight yellowy glow around those using, whoops, using the Naples yellow. Okay, so. I'm just going around each one. Now we can still see the terracotta colour, which is the idea. I'm going over that bubble, I just can't go around it. I, as I say, I should put them in in white, I think. Oh, uh, that's the bit of the shell. There we go. So we've got a bit of a glow going on. Now I'm going to grab whoops, my um, burnt sienna and I'm going to start bringing in this shadow into the page. So going over the top of the um, dark sepia and then sort of fading in. Because this is going to be darker than the outside as I sort of said before. Like that, so just sort of start to fade it in like that. Oops. Infinite edges. Don't forget this bit here. Now we've got our lights here, so we need to be a bit careful. Leave that, but it would be dark under here. You can still make them a little bit darker like that. I think that needs to be a bit darker. There we go and then over to this side. Trying to hold it still for you. And then we're starting to fade it down now a bit. I've gone over that bubble. As I say, I'm going to go over them in white pen, so I'm going to just actually forget about them for now. That bit looks really nasty. I'm just going to try and smush it in a bit. Now, under the shelf would actually be a bit of shadow. I'm just going to put that in over there. And then over here. But we've got our lights here, so I'll put a little bit along this edge. And what that does is not only does it sort of provide that bit of shadow, which I think would be there, but also helps this to stand out a bit because um, that's the sort of edge where we'll, um, we'll deal a bit with more with that in a minute. Now I'm grabbing my terracotta again. I'm going to give it a sharpen and I'm going to go over all of the inside part, apart from the lights. So starting here, I'm just going back over this. And we'll get a much darker look inside our bathroom. Terracotta bathroom. It's very old fashioned. As long as it doesn't have an avocado bathroom suite. All right. I don't mind them. It's the chocolate. Have you ever seen a chocolate bathroom suite? Whoa. That's quite uh, quite a statement, says the person with the chocolate coloured kitchen wall. Yeah. <laughs> Uh, yeah, why not? Why not make a statement? I think we should all do what we enjoy, have what we like, not worry about fashion. It's easy to say when you're my age and you've beyond caring. <laughs> but uh, I think I used to like things like wearing a hood up. When I was growing up, that wasn't something you did. You never wore your hood up. And so um, I didn't do it. And then when I had kids and it was pouring with rain and I was pushing a push chair and my hair was getting absolutely soaking wet, I would just stick my hood up and I just wouldn't think about it. I mean, you can never look cool when you've got kids, can you? Maybe you can. I don't know. Maybe some people can. I haven't done this bit here behind the bath. 
I mean behind the plant. Completely forgot. So I'm gonna just colour that in and then grab our um burnt sienna. Put a bit of dark a bit in here. And then go back over it again with the terracotta. We should be able to just make it look like I hadn't forgot. There. Nobody knows any different. Right. Hmm. Just going to do this bit. Looks a bit messy. Now we've got a window. Let's have a think about that. Oh, my hands are getting crampy. I don't know why. Um, the window, the the um, window frame. It would be quite nice to make it look a little bit silvery if we can. I think I'm going to use a cold grey four and see what I can do. Okay. So firstly, we have the lock. The key's gold. That's it. Oh well. What I'm going to do is I'm going to start on that corner and colour it hard and get lighter. Start on this corner and colour it hard and get lighter. So we've got a bit of a shine. Okay. Then I'm going to do each spoke. I know they're not, but I'm going to make it really dark in the middle. And then lighten it towards the centre so we've got a bit of a Bit that looks shiny hopefully on each one now they wouldn't shine like this but hopefully it will just trick your eye into thinking there's some shine I'm sure it wouldn't be even unless someone had a ring light right on there and what I'm gonna do around here is put a little bit between each one a little bit of white I've got quite a bit of um, orange down here. Now I'll raise it a little bit. It's not going to quite work with the grey. I'm just being a bit fussy. Now I'm thinking about out of the window. I quite like it to be dark. So I think it would look more cosy inside if it's black outside. But I have a think about that. Um, we could do it like a dark blue or a purple rather than a black. Anyway, let's, um, let's leave that for a minute. Let's do the shelf. The shelves, I should say. We've got two. I'm going to grab the Van Dyke Brown. And uh, just colour those in. Now I'm I think what I did last time and what I'm going to do this time as well is make a sort of colour scheme with regards to the toiletries because I think if they all match looks a bit better. But we've got a sort of cosy terracotta colour going on. Mm, what colour towels would you have in a bathroom this colour? On the bath we're going to leave it white gonna make it should we make it champagne my parents have got a champagne bathroom suite let's use the cream and see what we can do there's this slightly greeny which um their bathroom which I'm not gonna do I'm just gonna make it cream they um my dad's so colour is green so they have so many things that are green in their house, green carpet in their, well, throughout most of the house, hallway and sitting room, and uh, green sofa. He just likes his green. So I don't blame him. I think that needs a little bit of excitement. <laughs> excitement. I need an exciting bar. Um, I'm going to take the light yellow ochre and put a little bit of shadow on it. Why not? Let's make it goldish. So 
sort of under the rim here, but just also on the edge there. I don't want it too dark, which is why I haven't gone for a sepia or anything. around the leg. There we go. We might all have a bit on the edge of there too. There. That's better. Now, hmm, still thinking about towels, colour of towels, not sure. We've got a lot of, um, orange on our soap bubbles. I might just go over them all with a white pen to be honest. Right, let's um, tap. Let's go back to our cold grey four. Really sharp, very small tap. You can do each of these tiny bits, just blocking them in. Then for the circle, Bit. I'm going to make it dark top and bottom with a lighter bit on the edge to try and make it look shiny. Same here and here. There we go. I've uh, got any other metallic? I've got a radio. Now I'm going to put fade, fade, make it look like it's metallic. The I'm trying to do a little diagonal stripe on the buttons, but not really succeeding. And the handle, leaving a blank bit, as if it's a bit shiny. Um, yeah, I think that's probably it. Do you need to try and erase this bit here? I just want to erase. Okay, now we've got a wicker basket. That's quite easy. Well, I think it is anyway. Raw umber. So just colour all over in the raw umber. Then a bit darker on the edges, just like with our pot, to try and make it look like it's a little bit rounder. Okay, now I'm going to grab a darker colour. I don't think we'll go... I'm going to use the burnt umber. And I'm going to put a little bit of extra colour on the edge here and underneath our um, candles. Then under the lid, I think that's the edge of the lid. And then on each row, to just because the weaving would create little bits of shadow. So each side of these little lines, they wouldn't necessarily be a different colour. Put some shadow under the handle so you can see it. Oh. Struggling to think of what colour to do the a lot of things in this bathroom. The candles, I know what I'm doing with those, so let's do those. I want the flames to be a dark cadmium orange. So I'm just going to draw those in. Now we could do the a sort of cream colour behind here as if we're looking through to the bar. But I think it might be better to do a bit of a glow. So I'm going to use the excuse me, cadmium yellow to fill these in to make it look like we've got a bit of a glow from the candle it's easier and I think it's fine the actual candles though obviously need a bit of colour um, I'm going to think 
might do them a red orange actually because um, that will match in okay. So this is the light cadmium red which is quite orangey. Obviously we used it for the flowers as well so it will tie in a little bit. There we go. Now our tiled floor. Um, hmm. Think about what's going to match, what's not. Um, you know, I don't want anything that's going to stand out too much um, above everything else. I think I might use the. Um, should I use the green gold? Let's try this. Green gold. So every other tile. I think you wouldn't have them all the same. Well, you might. In fact, my bathroom is. But you know. Um, and I'm thinking where I've got gaps, I'm going to use this one the um, Naples yellow. I'm using it quite lightly because under the bath there'd be some shadow. I'm going to colour that in in a minute and around the items. And so we need to make sure that we can do that. I'm going to use the dark sepia. Be careful with this, it's really quite dark. We don't want it really dark, so I'm using it quite lightly. We're getting somewhere aren't we we have got our plant um, I think I might do it in earth green yellowish it does look like the type of plant that would be really dark green to me but I'd like it to sort of tie in with our geranium this is a little bit darker than the may green that we use but of course we built up quite a few different colors so I'm just going to put some of this on it and see how it looks it's obviously not the same plant as the geranium the leaves are similar-ish, but they're too tall, these stems. I'm trying to colour in the stems. Probably coloured them in already, with the colours near it. There we go. Now I'm going to choose oops, another colour. I'm going to use the um, chrome oxide green, because I've used that before. Again, sort of tie it in. Just put a bit of shadow in there where they're overlapping. I also think maybe the sort of top of the leaf might be a bit darker because it looks like it might be sort of dipped in. There we go. Now what colour plant pot would you have? Terracotta? <laughs> I'm going to use the um, Sanguine for the pot. It's going to be quite close. It's a slightly different colour. I want it darker on the edges and lighter in the middle. So I'm going to layer up on that edge. And I am going to grab my burnt umber to just really emphasise that darker edge. And put some shadow underneath each of these little lines as if it's a sort of slightly textured Right, I think we should do the towels now. And I was thinking maybe a sort of um, Pompeian red. It's sort of not brash red, but it's, uh, I think it's quite a nice colour. I'm going to leave that little band or use a little, another colour. 
might be a little bit too pinky to go with our um, colours. I'm not sure. I just thought I would put some down and have a look. There's a lot of towels in this bathroom, isn't there? These are getting wet. Who does that? <laughs> Can they just go over that centre bit, bit and make them a little bit darker? Particularly at the bottom. Now I'm just going to go over it again. Now thinking about the towel, look, we've got these lines where it's sort of slightly um, curled or crumpled. I don't know. Just fill those in a little bit. And then this sort of whoops, stripey bit, I think I will grab, actually I might grab a, hmm, I might try this. This is the Burnt Carmine. It seems really dark, but I'm going to use it really lightly if that makes sense. I hope it does. So, it's going to be darker each side. Why have we done this darker bit? A bit darker. isn't it? I think it's okay. Now the radio, we need to finish it and I've been thinking, I think I'm going to use quite a dark grey. I was thinking of using a black but I think it's a bit too much, especially if I'm going to do black out of the window, but I probably won't. Cold grey six I'm going to use and I'm not going to layer it up too much to start with and see how it looks with a lightish layer. I don't think I really want it too black. Maybe that bit a bit darker. Let's see. Yeah, I'm happy with that. Just like that. Now, I am just going to do these lamps up here because I sort of am worried that I'm going to forget them. And I'm going to use this colour. So I'm going to make it dark under here and fade it up to give a sort of, hopefully, dark metallic look. And same here. I can't decide if the bit on the top is just a wire or if it's like a lid. I might colour it in. So dark on the edge, leave a light, bit, leave a gap. And then it looks shiny. And also this, um, this bit I'm going to do in the same colour. Oops, out of the lines. Try and stay in, but you know, if you can't, you can't. Now I'm going to do the flame and the candle the same colour as this. Now I think I used this um, dark cadmium orange. Did I? For the flame. I think I might have done. It's a bit dark. I'm going to use it lightly. And I think I used the cadmium yellow for the inside of the pot so we'll use that as well now it shows it coming out here not sure about that i think i might just not just to keep it inside rather than drawing lines it's up to you and the candles were like cadmium red what we can do with these candles because they're a tad bigger like the tiniest bit bigger is try and make them a little darker on the edge and light to the centre. Like that. I've missed a bit around there. There we go. Okay, so we've done that. I was just worried that I might forget. Now we've got our sort of bath products. Um, hmm. I want them to match our bathroom, um, so not like blue or pink, although the towels were a little bit pinker than I'd hoped, but I think they're okay, I'm just going to pretend they're fine. Um, <laughs> hmm. um, do, do. 
I'm going to grab the orange glaze and do some orange bits and see how we get on. So the lid, I'm going to do the whole thing in orange. Just making it, trying to make it a bit darker on the edge, leaving a light a bit in the middle. I realise I'm totally ignoring all the detail. I might put that back in after and do the same with these. Can you see? Yeah. I just get paranoid again that you can't see. I'm wondering about these bubbles because we've got some here. How can I colour those in? They're already white. Well, should be, except I've gone over the lines. What I'm going to do is use my sanguine to go over the labels and bits and bobs. So uh, here where there's like, I think the lid could be a bit darker. Maybe this is a label. Just a few little bits. Just so it looks like it's slightly different. There we go. Now, what have we got left to do? Bubbles. Hmm. Yeah, I'm going to get my white pen. Use my Jedi Roll 8. Oh, no window. Now, I was really tempted, whoops, to do like a purple or a blue or out the window. But it's not the right colour to match the rest. So I think I am just going to have to do it black. So that's what I'm going to do. It's night time. So I'm going to start with a lightish layer, but I think I'm going to have to actually make it quite black so that it stands out from the um, frame, or sits back from the frame is actually the hope. I think I know what I'm going to do to make the bubble stand out. I think I'm going to have to do them with glitter because there's some at the top as well around the flower and uh, I don't want to do a background. So the only way that I'm going to make them stand out, but I'm going to have to go over them first with white, the one so that um, it erases where I've gone over the lines and then put some glitter over after. Hopefully it will work. Now, to make this look more like it's glass, I could put some lines of white on it. But I'm wondering whether to put some stars in it, in the sky. I shall have a play with it in a minute. dark enough for me. You could layer it over and over and over and make it really dark but I don't know if I want to. I'm just going to come out a bit because now I'm doing the final touches I might forget. Let's try and move those out of the way. Right. Jelly Roll 8. We've got stars here, here and here. Um, I think I'm going to do those actually in my gold pencil, green gold, like I did for the key. I want them to look different to the bubbles which as I say are going to have glitter right now whoops now I'm going to put the glitter on these before I do this pen because um, or else I'll smudge it I am just going to use the glitter glaze pen if I can find it um, the see through one so you may not be able to see it you could do a coloured glitter but I don't think it's going to work. So, whoops, I'm just going to miss and just plop some in the wrong place. Right, okay. Now, um, 
white pen. So I'm actually going to go inside each of these bubbles with some white because I've gone over quite a few of them. Yeah, and stars and then some shine on the window. You're quite far away, I hope you can see. I'm thinking hmm. No, it just looks like it's snowing. But that's okay. Now, any other white? No, I think we're fine. So now our glitter on top of... Oh, no, we do need white. On these bubbles down here. I'm basically cleaning up where I've gone over the lines. Now... I won't need to go over all of it because once we put the glitter on you won't really notice that that's a different colour white to the paper. And our paper is actually um, usefully white rather than cream. If you're doing this in a version of Johanna's book that's got cream paper you might want to go over all the bubbles in white, either white pencil or a white pen before you put the glitter on but the glitter is so um, shiny that you might not notice anyway once it's down you might want to use a coloured glitter to make it look like you've used a coloured soap you know I don't think soap bubbles get that coloured but no. right I think I should, probably should have put a bit of white down there but I think I am done I'm just having a little look yeah now you might want to do your stars with some glitter over or in gold metallic pen but I am happy with how I have done it for me so there we go I had such fun with that page I hope you did too I think I went on quite a bit but uh you know oh I haven't done this inside bit in here have I um, terracotta. I'm just going to use a bit of terracotta. Hang on. I've got white pe wet pen now, so this is going to be a fun challenge. Right. Now, I think this bottom bit might be darker. I'm just going to put a little bit of darker pen on there. But here, near there, and in there looks dipped into me where it might be a bit darker and say here look there's a bit of shadow there but then in there fade it up to there bit in there bit in there there I'm just going to leave it like that so not too much you have to do that if you don't want to there we go so now I have finished so thank you so much for watching I hope that you had uh, have a really lovely day and that you have some fun doing some coloring whether it's this or something completely different you know it doesn't really matter but uh, yeah thank you so much for watching please remember to like subscribe and comment it makes all the difference thank you so much and happy coloring <laughs>